to it. Paul, what's going on? Leslie's safe, but just call me. I'm, I'm worried about you. Don't look comfy sat there. Stay away from me. Come on, get up. I don't know you. Well, that's as may be, but I'm in charge and I'll not have folks sat on the floor. Come on, get up and sit on this chair. Now, I'll not tell you again. I should Coco. I don't like the way she looks at me. I'm not sure about her myself. Let's ignore her. Now, I'm going to have a cup of tea. Do you want one? One level spoon of sugar. I don't like it too sweet. <sighs> Imagine your head doing that to you. Shocking. What must you be like? Ask her. Give me something to talk about while I look for Paul. I'm not stopping here with her. Oh, what if he's gone and done something stupid? He has. He's left her here with you. <sighs> Who's are these pictures? Why have you cut them up? Oh, Eileen's going to get you that cup of tea. Oh, one level spoon of sugar. I don't, don't like, like it, it too sweet. sweet. Is this it? Selfies? Well, how many jobs did you do last night? <laughs> Can I get you a whiskey or...? No, Tom, like you, I've got a driving job. Mate. Mates don't rip the mates off. Selfie tapped on the window. It wasn't pre-planned. Yeah, that's because you thought you were working. You had your streetcar's ID. No, I didn't. She told me. The thing is... Oh, look, should I go through there and serve a load of punters, put the cash straight in my pocket? Oh, money's tight. Oh, yeah, I'm rolling in it. I've had to sell me pub to pay for a wedding and a divorce. Yeah. Look, I took on a lot of debt to get this place. It's killing me. I was just trying to make a few quid up so Stella doesn't get onto it. She frets. Oh, well, she will fret when she finds out what you've been doing. Please, mate, Steve, don't say out to her. Oh, am I the her in that sentence? No. Yes. What's the secret? It's a lad tonight out. Oh, cheers, mate. Well, I believe in honesty. When have I ever stopped you going out? Making me out to be like some sort of dragon? It's my licence at risk here. You moonlight again and it won't be Stella I'll be grassing you up to. It'll be the police. Something smells good. Where are the kids? Hey, honey, they're uh, fed and they're watered and they're farmed out across the road. Not Curly and David. No, please, Anna. They'll be spot rotten. Yeah, well, that's going to make the three of you. Sit down, are you hungry? Starving. Good. What's this? Voila, pakora as a little amuse a bush. A bit over the top all this, isn't it? Well, I don't get to see as much of you as I used to, now that you're working in the pub. As in, they're my fault, the argument. I didn't say that. Did I say that? No, I didn't say that. So come on, give me a chance here. Oh, look at the sea, eh? I know the clocks have gone forward and that, but summer seems forever away. Yeah, I mean, if summer doesn't come to us, then we go to the summer. Go to Mallorca? Why not? So if he's back in the shop, I'm sure Stella can cover in the bar. Right, so we can spend some quality time together. Family break it. Oh, look, it boasts an award-winning contemporary restaurant. Yes. Can't afford this, can we? Well, it doesn't say what the award's for, honey. It could be the award for the most reasonably priced contemporary restaurant. Oh, here oh. we go. Yeah. Has two championship golf courses. Yes, with a coach that specialises in under ten. Well, what sort of quality time is that going to give us, eh? I'll never see you or Ardy. Anyway, it's a 15-minute drive to the beach. Now, I'll find somewhere that's a five-minute walk. Yeah, but, honey, you should see the car that I've hired. 15 minutes you're going to going to wish it was longer. Car you've hired? Hired as in already booked? Dev, you've not committed to this one. Mm, now, this is tasty. Hi, Mrs Mop. I can see you skiving. That's my old wrong. Scan's clear. Your mum's coming home. Are you coming? Oh, I can't. I'm on my own, but I'll text and eat now. Bring some of them flowers to the house. What, to disguise your rubbish cleaning up? Hey. He could be spinning in his grave if you knew it turned down a pint this early in the evening. I wasn't forcing you to come with me. No, no, I didn't mean it like that. I can just hear his voice in my head. Aye, aye, go on, Betty, love. Stick us another in there, will you? <laughs> Is that how he talks? Yeah, yeah. Go on, Scarlett, do us proud. You've always been my number one bird. Aye. I thought she was called Vera. Oh, no, no, our Vera was his wife. Susie's Scarlet bird. It was an actual bird. It was his favourite pigeon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird that Tommy's the one related to them, but you're the one that loved them. I'm glad. But don't tell Tommy. I don't think he'd looked after him as well as I did. Aww. So which one am I, then? Your Scarlet or your Vera? 
Well, you have the best qualities of both. No, oh, I. What are pigeon qualities then? Feet. <laughs> Just taste you it. You are not getting round me with your shy here, oh, Pania. I'm sorry. All right, but it's you know it's a little bit much when a man has to apologise for booking a surprise holiday for his wife and his kids. Why is it a surprise? Because you like because surprises. Because you knew if you'd asked, I'd have said no. What am I, a mind reader? It costs a fortune. It's in the middle of nowhere. I'd be hanging around with Arsha board. Just phone them and tell them that you're transferring the deposit onto another holiday. Yeah, the place is shut now. 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. It's a free phone number. It won't even cost. All right, it's booked now, Ryan. I promise you next year we'll do something different. Just phone them, because I am telling you now, if you don't change this holiday, I am not coming. Oh, no, you're not... Oh, I was expecting Sean. You're not taking over now, are you? Why? What are you doing? And, um, who's cleaner? You or the kids? No, me, oh. I'm afraid. <laughs> um, we're painting monsters. We're having a competition. I've just texted Sean to come and be the judge. Oh. And here he is. Oh. <laughs> hey, uh, well, when you said you were painting monsters, they weren't painting you, were they? No. Oh, oh look no. at you, little oh. man. How are you going to choose a winner? Leave me. Go on, back upstairs, <laughs> you. Back up to Liam. Oh. You won't cry, will you, if you don't win? Wow. Well, I've got two prizes, one for Liam and one for my little Hey, girl. can we be on the judging panel? But of course. <laughs> All right, then. Do you know what? If I ever have another kid, I'm having your Max's godfather. <laughs> Hi, Eileen, you OK? Oh, she's looking for Paul. He's in the cafe. Oh, right. Um, Sean says he's just seen Paul in Roy's. You all right? What's happened? Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> Offer him a top-up. His mug is filled to capacity. Well, then offer him a fresh one, anything to snap him out of it. I want to sweep. What is the logic in offering a customer a fresh hot drink in order to provoke him into leaving? You use logic as a weapon, Roy. It is not clever. If there's a problem with your cash, you're going to have to ring the bank. Yeah, I know. I've got another one. Can I, uh... Am I an unreasonable person? What? No. Dare we ask? Dev. Oh, OK. Um, Sunita, I know it's my first day back and everything, but is it OK if I go on, please? Go on? Yeah, did you not get my message? My mum's on her way back. From hospital? No, sorry, I didn't. Of course you can. And give him a love, eh? Yeah, it's her. For the record, I think you're dead reasonable. Can I get that in writing? <laughs> Is that spot another one out? <laughs> Cash flow. I'll put it back. Oh, no, have it. No, 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 I don't need it. No, on the house. It'll cheer me up knowing it'll annoy Dev. OK, I'll pay for it next time I'm in. Hey, it's a shame you're stuck in here on your night off. No, I'm not stopping. Stuff, Dev. I'm going to cash up, lock up. I'm not doing his job for him. OK, we'll pop into the Rovers. I owe you a pint. I nearly hit her. I didn't love. Just like I just felt this rage. I could screw my fist up and... You didn't. It's the whole pointlessness of it. The pointlessness of telling her anything, helping her remember anything. It's like I turned my back, it never happened. Like I it didn't happen. I hate being that stranger she sees when she looks at me. It's... I just wanted to grab hold of her and say, where are you? Where are you, Leslie? And... I miss her. I know you do, love. I miss her. And Leslie's never going to realise it, but she's so lucky to have you. No, I wanted to hurt her. You love her. And this is unbearable, it is. But you know you can't carry on like this, don't you? <gasps> I can manage. Oh, I'm just being backed up. <laughs> backed up? Mum thinks I'm some kind of old football now. Mum, back stops rounders. Uh, baseball. Oh, so I'm an old bat. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm fine. Honestly, it's okay. 
Oh, get me inside, Kevin, would you? Can't be doing with everybody staring and tutting at me. I haven't got the energy. Better buy her some flowers if she's looking after Leslie. Yeah, well, nothing with Thorns. She'd probably wallop me with him. <laughs> Hi, yeah, I know. I said I'd check him out. How you doing? How's Leslie? Yeah, good. Yeah. Actually, no, not good. I don't know why I said that happened. Anything I can do? The residential place you mentioned. The one that cares for people Leslie's age. Yeah, I've got patients there. It's just that, um... You think it might be time, maybe? I don't know. I could phone the manager, see if she's there, drive you down for a look. With Leslie? Yeah, of course. It doesn't mean a commitment. I'm not even sure if there's a place. No. Yeah? Yeah, OK. OK. Ah, oh, it's so good to be home. It's nice to have you home. You frightened us. I feel a fool. I've been so stupid. You've been daft. Yeah. Fez? Listen, she's only just got home and the doctor said she should No, it's all right. There's nothing she's going to say that I wouldn't say myself. I was going to bring grapes, but, well, when there's chocolate in the world, eh? I've just come to check you're OK, that's all. Honest. Sit down. Sunita, I'm sorry. I got carried away thinking about her son's talent. Did you phone the holiday you... company? Yes, and we can't change it. Well, we can, but we'll lose the deposit. So, like I say, I am sorry, not truly, and I should have consulted you. Well, at least you tried. Can I heat up some rice for you? Which phone did you use? I'm sorry? To phone him. <laughs> Landline or mobile. No free phone numbers. <laughs> Give me a mobile. Well, honey, don't you trust me? No, mobile. I will not be lied to, bullied or treated like I'm stupid. Go on your precious holiday. But if Ardy goes, so does Asha. And I'm stopping here. I'm going to the Rovers. Oh, and, uh, by the way, mm. the shop shut. I let Sophie go. Is it still really sore? It's better than it was. But people are saying that Anne should have left me for dead. Don't be daft. All anyone's talking about at work is the factory and what's going to happen to it now. No one's sure who even owns it. But they think that's my fault, I know. Don't, Sally. But I do know how that feels, you know? Thinking everyone's looking at you and judging you. Me, you mean? No. Sally, please, you've got to believe me. I don't blame you for how you felt about me. I'm sure that when Hope's Rosie's age, I am going to protect her just as fierce as you did. I'm just saying that I know how you're feeling. And if anyone does say out bad about you, you know I'm going to be the first to put them right. We just fell for the wrong men, didn't we? That's all. Anyway, Maria's got Hope, so, um... Thanks for coming. Hey, it's good to right. see you back home. See you, Fizz. Well, oh, that was a bit of a surprise, wasn't it? Hey, you OK? I don't deserve that kindness, Kevin. I just don't deserve it. Hey, come on. Come on. Dr. Carter, hi. Hi. This is Paul, one of my patients. Hi. And Leslie, his wife. Hello, Leslie. I'm Pat. Hello. And... Oh, I'm a friend, Eileen. Welcome. You want to look round? Please. Uh, was it Linda you wanted me to have a chat with while I'm here? That's right, she's in her room. OK. Shall we start over here? Leslie, let me introduce you to somebody. Tony's our music therapist. I bet if you told him your favourite song, he could find it on his iPod. On his what? Do you like music? Depends who's singing. 
Don't worry, it won't be me. Tony, this is Leslie. She's come for a visit. Hi, Leslie. I can't remember my favourite song. Tony will jog your memory. He's got an encyclopedic knowledge of music, but two left feet. It might be a little bit disorientating for her, a full tour. She'd be best stopping down here on your first visit. Do you want to follow me? We're only looking. Yeah. You have it. No, you have it. <laughs> it's yours. Have it as a present. I'll wrap it for you. <laughs> I'm stopped. Result? <laughs> Do you know what? It's probably one of the best days to remember ever. Well, because you got the last bit of pizza? No, because I fixed a gearbox that Kev was struggling with. Result? I had a drink with my mates and my fiance, who got on great. Result? And now I'm here alone with you. You're easily pleased. <laughs> no, I'm not. I don't take things for granted anymore. I know how quickly they can be taken away. How empty it can get. That's all in the past now, isn't it? It is. Mm. You've made me happy again. Thank you. Day's not over yet. Well, it's only half eight. So. <gasps> I know it sounds brutal, Paul, but the advantage we have is we're not fighting history. Leslie is who she is to us, but you'll always be haunted by the person she was. We try to find ways to connect with our residents, things to stimulate them and feel familiar. I'm done. How was she? This place costs an arm and a leg. I'm sure there's some help. I know we're just looking at options. She's found the Motown, then. <laughs> yeah. She was a great dancer when she was younger, you know. She didn't know all the retro stuff. She even took me to classes once, the Lindy Hop. She had all the moves. I was like a dancing, flipping fireman. Don't let me drag you away if you've got more questions. Paul can call me. I'll give him a card. So when would he need to let you know? When he's ready. We have a couple of places. I understand it's a big decision. All I'll say is... Admitting that you and Leslie need support, professional help, whether here or somewhere else, residential or not, it doesn't mean that you failed. Thank you. Can we go home now? Why are we here? Yeah, we're going right away, love, OK? <sighs> oh, you still part monster. I feel like I'm turning into one. I am knackered. It's no wonder running after three under five-year-olds like a sexy Mrs. Do It Fair. I'm finding that hard to visualise. Listen, Marcus, do you feel like I've let us down? How? Just with this whole adoption thing, you know, not wanting to go down that road. Look, the way I see it is I'm destined to be a small part of lots of kids' lives rather than a big part of one or two. And I'm OK with that. Honestly? You get more freedom to play when you're not in charge of discipline. Now I'm going to be a lifelong good cop. Leave the boring bit to the parents. Come on, Maria's chips are getting cold. Leave that love. I'll uh, I'll put it away and sort it out when she's not going to come down. Did she say anything about the helm? Can't remember going. She was singing, heard it through the grain finds with me, you know, over and over. Well, the first two lines at least. But I haven't done a very good job of leaving you. One more night won't kill me. I'm not sure I'm ready for it. What, another night with me? To admit that it's over, that, that she's too far gone from now. What has she got to say? <sighs> Look at me, smiling away. No idea how lucky I was. We argued that night, you know. On your wedding night? What about? I'd forgotten to thank her mum in the speech nerves, you know. Me and my memory. <laughs> she used to say that. 
If ever I got Alzheimer's, it'd take us years to notice. <laughs> I think we're invincible. It's the beauty of youth. If I do it, if I say yes to the home, will he take me back? It's not fair, Paul. This this decision can't be about me. I know. I do. Sorry. It's time, though, isn't it? It is. It, it, I know. It is. It... I'll phone the home first thing in the morning. Tell them Leslie's moving in. Night, mind how you go. Oh, I thought tonight was never gonna end. If anyone has been sick in those toilets, <coughs> I am taking early retirement. We'll go to bed. We can clear away the glasses in the morning. I'll just put this in the safe. Oh, 40 brownie points. 40? I'll see you later. <coughs> Yeah, I'm off out tonight, remember? Out? Yeah, lads night with Steve. Remember, we talked about it earlier. Oh, I didn't realise it was tonight. Good cancel. No, you're right. But if you roll in Ahmed and wake me up, I reserve the right to be grumpy. Permission granted. Mm. Night, love. Night. If you've been affected by Leslie and Paul's story, you can contact Alzheimer's Society for an information pack on dementia on 0845 3000 336. From BT Domestic Landlines, the call may be free or may cost up to 5.4p per minute with a 9.3p setup charge. Or you can visit alzheimers.org.uk.